Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Very good morning Selamat pagi Salam sejahtera everyone My name Arham On behalf of uh, Surono Marto Suwito Udi Hartono and Muhammad Sakir Sulaiman Today I would like to present A newly found The sauropod dinosaur trackways From Tanah Merah Kelantan, Malaysia Effort to find out the dinosaur fossil in the Bukit Panau area, Tanah Merah, has been done by a number of uh, geologists. However, until we wrote this report, such a uh, dinosaur fossil have never been found. So, in the late May 2017, we found a track site of at least seven individual footprints of dinosaur in the Bukit Panau span approximately 400 meters square. Related to this, several geologists from University of Malaya and Jabatan Mineral Geoscience had announced and reported their finding regarding dinosaur fossils a few years ago. For your information, in the place not far from Kelantan, a Jurassic sauropod has been also found in the Korat Plateau, North Thailand. The Bukit Panong is located about 4 km north of Tanah Merah town. This hill has steep slope and surrounding by flat area except its northern part, which is gentle, hilly area. The hill is about 250 meter high and 1.25 kilometer wide. This is the location of the discovery. So from the uh, topographic map, you can see the Bukit Pano Hills surrounding by the flat uh, terrain you can see also from the uh, uh, terrain map and uh, from satellite imagery so i saw you here the tanah merah the tanah merah town and uh, in the northern uh, northern part you can see a a Bukit Panau Hills, so the distance is about four kilometers. A preliminary geological study has been done before we discover the sauropod track fossils. We receive a lot of information from some geologists saying that the Bukit Panau area potentially to keep a Jurassic fossils, especially the dinosaur fossil. A number of field visits were done in order to identify the fossil. After we found a suspect footprint, we do an intensive field visit to find another track and to identify it more detail including size and shape of the track maker's feet and number of toes Lithologically, Bukit Panau consists of volcanic rock unit covered by clastic sedimentary unit and both rocks was intruded by granite the volcanic rock unit is mainly formed by intercalation of well-bedded turf and lapilli turf 
So, the plastic sedimentary unit cover the uh, intrusion. So in, on top of the uh, Bukit Pano Hill, you can find the uh, plastic sedimentary unit which is uh, uh, quartz, sand, quartz sandstone. And the uh, well bedded tuff and love pillet tuff can be found on the foot of the Bukit Panang Hill. So the plastic sediment unit was named by the Malaysia Thailand Border Joint Geological Survey Committee as Panau Beds. The edge of the formation is still debatable based on the plant fossil suggests the edge is Cretaceous. So the suggestion came from the Malaysia Thailand Border Joint Geological Survey Committee. The granite unit found in the Bukit Panau is grey, medium crystal K feldspar, plagioclas, biotite, and quartz. Some of them contains hornblende. In some places, the granite is pink due to orthoclase dominated mineral composition. And the edge of the granite is probably same as Noring granite. If we correlate the physical of Noring granite and the Bukit Pano granite. The fossil found are track of at least seven footprints or track and trackways. All track are found printed on top of the quartz sandstone from Panau Formation or Panau Bed, which is probably in Cretaceous period located at foot of the Bukit Panau Hill. The most obvious track can be seen in figure below. It is a graphy portal. Graphy portal with bearing limbs. The metacarpal bone and that touch the ground are very large and even though the trace show the impression of a convex sediment. And some specimen preserving the remains soft tissue covering this area. This indicate that the foot is framed with a kind of a pad in this species. Detailed measurement of trackways shown in the right figure. Track average length is 72 cm and the average width is 66 cm. The width of the sediment displacement rim is approximately 18 cm. The metatarsopalangeal region is concave. Digit 1, 2, and 3 have identifiable claw marks. Digit 4 has a depression made by foot callosity. Digit 5 is indicated by a small lateral lobe. The metatarsal phalangeal pad region is smoothly curved. <clears throat> so the pictures in the left side shows you that the uh, there is a sarapod trackways at Oklahoma track site which is similar to what we found in uh, Tanamera. And then the, in the next uh, picture, we put here a sauropod pes and manus, back, uh, right, uh, right foot and back foot, put print in the furthest right trackway. So, uh, 
the trackways taken from many many sites in the world so in the in the last picture uh, you can see also some of the trackways that can be compared to what we have found in Tanamera. There is another trackways, a kind of a trackways from particular uh, Sora port. And uh, there's a picture I saw you here where you can see the systematic traceway, trackways of a sauropod dinosaur. But there is no a fixed uh, a pattern because sometimes the track uh, uh, can be so the different shape because of the uh, weight of the uh, dinosaur or whether he run or he walk yeah the morphology and trackway found in the bukit panau is typical for sauropod trackways according to Lockley 1999 and 2001 and similar to the one found in china called brontopodus also from Lockley et al. 2002. This trackway is clearly narrow gauge based on the ratio 0 9 close to 1 1. However, the, there are some differences in the distance of their front and back foot, which is possibly caused by the different size of animals or of whether the animal walk or run. And this is the, uh, the individual footprints, which is uh, very similar to what we found in Bukit Panau Tanamera. There is another picture of footprint, a similar footprint, that, uh, a similar footprint with the, the one that we found in uh, Tanamera. The track size and track waist might represent a large sauropod with about 22 meters length, 9 meter high, and 30 to 40 metric tons, according to Goman 2012. So the Bukit Panau sauropod might be comparable to the Jurassic sauropod found in Thailand and in, in China. In the right picture, you can see the size and weight comparison of dinosaurs, sauropod and other dinosaurs, and even with the, uh, the uh, airplane. And here are some of the uh, comparison. You can see here from the Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus. So the conclusion, distribution pattern and morphology characteristic of the fossil tracks and trackways found at Bukit Panau indicate that the fossil belong to a sauropod dinosaur. Some specific characteristic could be related to genus Apatosaurus. Rock edge dating need to be done to ensure the edge of this fossil. So far, there is no definitive evidence to refer this fossil to Cretaceous edge. Okay, that's all my presentation. Thank you for your attention and your support. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.